<laughs> Welcome to This Is Genius, the show that finds the weirdest bloke in the room, films him and laughs at him. Three, two, one, he's What could be more British than a bunch of eccentrics with excessive facial hair cramming poisonous plants into their mouths between gulps of foaming ale? Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the World Stinging Nettle Eating Championships, held where else in the West Country. The man in charge of the madness is Judge Andy Taylor. We've got 22 foot at the top here, and with the amount of foliage on the leaves this year, that's pretty good going at the halfway stage. And he's still going strong, no signs of a retro or a chunder yet. So. But we have had a couple of people out with the, the giveaway green beards, you know? <laughs> green beards, retch and chunder, sounds like fun for all the family. Shooting up to Scotland now to get down and dirty at the International Swamp Soccer Tournament. You can keep Euro 2008. This glorified Glastonbury-style kickabout has teams with far better names like the Fuddy Muckers and the Angry Beavers. It's also much more entertaining. Here, for example, the big guy from My Name is Earl takes no prisoners on a mud-soaked Maradona-style glory run. Whoa, let's see that one again. Now that's what I call fair play. It's the classic dilemma of the transvestite that needs the loo. Which cubicles do you go into? Well, at one school in Thailand, it's a problem no more. They've unveiled a new lavatory block specifically for transvestite and transgender pupils. Half and half, as the fairly unsubtle toilet sign suggests. Apparently, the new loos haven't gone down well with everyone. Some of the transvestites aren't happy with the decor, and it's led to some cases of bullying. Mainly, it seems, from the footage we've received by Thai reporters. Do you want to use the transvestite toilet? No. Why? Because I'm not a transvestite. Are you embarrassed to use this toilet? No, but I don't want to use it. Fair enough. Leave the poor kid alone. Over to a jail in Brazil now where some pigeons are being taught how to be criminals. At the Marilia prison near Sao Paulo, Shawshank Redemption meets Pigeon Street and once innocent birds have become hardened drug runners. Trained by jailbirds, these drug birds have been customised so they can carry illicit substances or mobile phones. For ages what was going on was a mystery. The guards were stumped, visitors were confused, inmates were stoned and on the phone. But eventually a hawk-eyed warden spotted that pigeons in Marilia couldn't fly straight. And as everyone knows the pigeon is a teetotal bird, it could only mean one thing. Drug mule pigeons. Mystery solved. More genius next week.